What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to another player review slash breakdown. And whether the Inter Milan pack are worth it or not, let's find out. We're going to be looking at skills, training guides, the best builds, and of course just talking about where these cards kind of fit in at the moment. So we're going to go straight over to the big time screen here. We do have Lataro Martinez, the Frige, and Shalhangalu. I mean, I'm kind of disappointed with this selection, to be honest with you. I think a lot of people were saying it as well to me in the last live stream when I was talking about these cards coming, and we knew from the trailer that Barella would have been the best choice to have here. I mean, a Barella big-time card could have been end-game levels uh, in terms of cards and in terms of CMFs. So one of the best players that I've used in the game is Barella, and I would have loved a beastly card. But not to be so they have gone for these three boys here and we also have a selection of other players now straight off the rip lads there is no real player in here i said it in my last review earlier on this morning before the live stream there's no real player in here that is worth spinning for apart from whether or not you want one of the big one of the big times okay i think this is probably one of the worst big times uh, comparing it to davies and bayern munich or araujo and barcelona or pretty much any of the big times that they've released. I mean, if Martinez had 35 levels or so, such as uh, Shalhangalu here, I mean, it would have been nice. Pavard, even in this selection, he's only got 22 levels. And when you look at Pavard's card here, it is pretty decent. I mean, he's got a fairly nice card. Obviously, you have to give him blocker. But other than that, it's a beastly card with, you know, everything that you could possibly want. He's on A form. But when you go over to his actual card here, I mean, it's just a disappointing one, man. It's it's 22 levels. It's not going to get you enough. Now, obviously, you're still going to have the speed over 80. And you are going to have his defensive stats all over 90, apart from aggression, which you don't really need with the player build that he has. But it's slightly disappointing. It's the same with Cuadrado. I mean, you you kind of, these are kind of just very like early game kind of players now. And I know that it's for a lot of newcomers that have missed out on these cards or you can, you know, pop in a couple of coins and you'll be able to get a couple of big time players if you do um, get a bit of luck. But I just feel like that these stats, you know, the tight possession and balance under 90 for a right sided or left sided player now, even though Cuadrado is nice and he's got 33 levels. Yeah, it's just it's just not where it's at at the moment, man. I, I, I just genuinely feel I don't really see what they're trying to do with these cards. Now, I spoke a couple of weeks ago about, you know, um, balancing cards and how they were trying to do that, right? And how they were trying to kind of set these cards apart while also leaving their room to, to, to have future versions of the cards or better versions of the cards. And this is very evident when you take a look at Stefan de Vries here, who is down as a build-up centre-back. Now, defending plus two is pretty decent as a booster. And also, you do have man mark and interception, blocker, area superiority, and heading. But he doesn't have acrobatic clearance. He does have man marking, as I said, and sliding tackle. He also does have a B rating, which is going to be locked because of the big time. Uh, I, I like the fridge. I mean, he's going to be playing and competing if I was to sign him for a spot in my squad with Van Dyke or Varane or any of those cards that I'm going to use as a build-up. But mostly, I've been using Tommy Yashu beside a destroyer. Tommy Yashu, obviously, his play style doesn't really activate as a CB because he's down as a defensive fullback. But the Freja stats here, even with the booster, you're going to get a boost to his acceleration and jumping, which is completely nonsensical because you're never going to be able to get him into that kind of fast pacey kind of card now the only thing it means is that you don't need to actually train up his dexterity at all but as you'll see here there's nowhere else to put the points so we're going to take a look on eFootball DB. i know a few people have been asking about the booster and the manager plus bonuses coming in here as far as i know the boys and the team at eFootball DB are working on it um and i have passed that on to them so hopefully that 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 comes because it gives you a clearer picture. But essentially, all you're doing is adding plus two to every stat that you see here when we are training these players. And this is kind of the problem with the Frige is because he's only got 27 levels, yes, his awareness and defensive engagement and tackling will all be at the 90 mark or 95 in terms of the tackling, but it's, you've nowhere else to put these two points into dexterity. You have to put them into dexterity or else into jump, which isn't going to make a massive difference to this card. I mean, it, yeah, I just feel like that this card is completely balanced. And even more so, lads, I would say that Lataro Martinez with this card is extremely balanced as well. Now, we're going to go back out first. There is the build that you see for him if you've just come for that. Six into shooting, eight into dribbling, ten into dexterity, eleven into lower body, and then just one thrown into aerial strength. But... This is a very disappointing card, in my opinion. I think that this could have been a Romario-esque version of a uh, Fox in the Box style card. But in fact, even though you get your speed and acceleration into the 90s, you don't have tight possession that's quite high. And that is going to be a bit of an issue, especially if you're used to playing with Romario's or running gun. Now, he is down as a goal poacher, which I think is the more easy to use center forward 
uh, striker play style and he does have striker's instinct which is quite nice but I just feel I don't know man I mean you're going to have maxed out acceleration and you're going to have maxed out a lot of these stats your ball control is going to be nice and all that but the balance in the tight possession is a huge thing for me maybe I place too much importance on it and this isn't to say that somebody you know you guys are watching this somebody will say oh Latara Martinez he scores you know 10 goals for me every single game I mean that is kind of irrelevant you can score with any player I mean free Neymar is better in my opinion than this Latara Martinez but that's not to say that this Martinez can't absolutely dominate for you you know it, it depends how you play it depends where you want to score your goals from I can score every goal I want with Collar on my road to Division 1 if I so choose because you're playing to his strengths but for this for this card pound for pound I think it's quite disappointing I honestly do I don't know what you guys think but I think it's one of the biggest disappointments for a big time card now I could be wrong he could be playing it's not just about stats you know that's the thing it's not just about stats and we will see that if we do spin for him but yeah, Letaro Martinez is a beastly player, especially when you let him play with a lot of AI stuff. But last but not least, we have Schlangelu. So this guy is down as a booster, a plus two free kick taken. Again, a very weird booster. We've talked about how they're going to balance these players a little bit better compared to the Wild Wild West of the early days. This guy's down as an orchestrator and he's got inconsistent form. Now, he does have some good player skills, but he doesn't have one touch pass. How are you going to give a guy that is down as an orchestrator that has got insanely high stats straight off the rip. No one-touch pass. On top of that, you do get weighted pass, but you don't have low-lofted pass, which is probably even more important. So it's just a very weird card, man. I don't know what this card is looking to achieve. I don't know why people would be like, oh, I have to get this card, even if you're a massive Inter fan. I mean, I would put it into comparison, right? If, if this was a United player that had these stats, even me being a United fan, I would be like, yeah, but he's got inconsistent form. He's got no stat that's going to be absolutely completely dominant over other players. And this is the build that you kind of have to go with, which is a little bit under par. So his ball control, dribbling, tight possession, low pass and lofted pass, as well as, he, as his free kick ability is going to be, you know, all into the 90s, which is extraordinary. But then you're going to have to put a bit of investment into him in terms of the skills and in terms of the fact that he has got inconsistent form, which is a little bit of a bummer. His acceleration is quite okay as well at that for a player that's more kind of like an orchestrator. He's kind of like a faster Tony Cruz but his speed and balance are a little bit of a concern if you are going to be trying to run with him because he has everything that you could possibly want as an attacking midfielder apart from you know that one touch pass and low lofted which I think is very important so that is it for me lads we will be back later on with the live stream uh, uh, or sorry we will have already done a live stream but we'll be back on Thursday with another live stream let me know if you guys have spun for these I'm interested to know are you disappointed with these for me personally now at the moment I honestly think that I'm only going to be spinning for cards that are kind of like wow, like you know what I mean, kind of like wow, um, that are ready to rock and roll straight into my squad without having to put too much time into them, especially where the life cycle of the game is at at the moment. But let me know what you guys think and I will be back soon. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button, it helps out massively as well as liking the video if you do like them. And if you don't like them, get in touch with some constructive criticism. We'll be back soon. Peace.